Hi, this is James from BecauseYouWantItToKnow.com and I've been getting a lot of uh, calls and emails lately about jailbreaking, rooting, and unlocking your phone. Now, the emails I've been getting haven't been about how to do it. We all know on YouTube there's lots of places on there where you can go on there and find out how to root your phone, how to jailbreak your phone, how to unlock your phone. The questions I've been getting is, one, is it legal, and two, is it going to void my warranty? So what I decided to do was make a real quick video just to kind of go over these things with you and let you know exactly what you're getting into. All of these things, unlocking, rooting, and jailbreaking, all have to do with the Digital Medium Copyright Act of 1998. This act was really restrictive and basically it banned everything. But the Librarian of Congress goes through and reviews it every three years because technology is moving so fast and he makes ex exceptions. So let me kind of go through and uh, tell you what the exceptions are concerning those three areas. Let's take unlocking first. Is unlocking your phone illegal? As of right now today, it's March 4th. Yes, unlocking your phone without the expressed consent of the carrier is illegal unless you own the phone before January 26th of this year. If you own the phone before January 26th, you can unlock it to your heart's content. There's nothing your carrier can do about it. They can jump up and down about it. It's your phone. You can do whatever you want to. If you own the phone after January 26th, then you are supposed to have their permission in order to unlock it according to the Digital Medium Reco uh, Copyright Act. I can give you some advice in this area. Um, anytime you get a phone, and I just went through this recently. I, ha I had gotten a brand new phone. When you get a brand new phone, one of the first things that you should do within days after getting your phone is request the unlock code to unlock uh, to to make it unlocked. Basically, uh, the carrier is going to ask you for a reason. The reason I gave was because there was a good chance that I was going to be traveling abroad, and I wanted to be able to use SIMs from other from other countries in order to reduce my cost. I kind of made a, a, a quick call uh, to AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and T-Mobile, which is my carrier, and found out that that's pretty much in accordance with all of their policies. If one of their uh, customers is going to be traveling abroad sometime in the future, and who knows when the future may be, that they will provide the unlock code, provided that one, the account is in good standing, and two, the person has a good reason like they are going to be traveling abroad at some point in the future. So it's good to do this right when you get uh, right when you get your phone obviously because you're in the 30-day return period if you tell them you bought the phone with the intent of maybe taking it abroad uh, that's definitely going to kind of speed things up. Usually it takes a couple days to get the unlock code to you but um, I really haven't seen anyone have a real problem as far as getting the unlock code from their carrier when they have a brand new phone. So uh, definitely get your phone unlocked as soon as you get it and you really should have a problem. If you had the phone before January 26th you can still request the unlock code from them and you really shouldn't have a problem doing it but if you want to go to an outside source or you want to do it yourself you really don't have any problem there uh, also. One kind of update, uh, the Obama administration kind of reviewed and this was uh, in March, so just last month, they reviewed the fact that people could not unlock their phones and um, agreed that people should be able to unlock their phones. So I'm expecting that it probably won't be the full three-year wait. I'm expecting that that rule will probably change sometime this year. And when it does, I'll definitely make another video and let you know. So let's go to the next thing. The next thing would be for you iPhone users. I'm going to flip-flop between Android and iPhone. Is uh, jailbreaking your phone illegal? No, it's not illegal at all. Um, an exception was extended and this was on the same Digital Medium uh, Copyright Act. An exception for jailbreaking your phone was actually extended. So if you do want to jail jailbreak your phone, there's nothing that your carrier can do about it. Um, I can tell you, um, as far as your warranty from Apple, if Apple finds out that you jailbroke your phone, that will void your warranty. And that's just letting you know up front. But um, as far as 
you know, a carrier being able to say, no, you can't jailbreak your phone, there's going to be some penalty or something like that. No, there's nothing that they can do. As far as rooting your phone, again, the same exact thing applies. Um, as far as your phone, if you want to root your phone, there's nothing that the carrier can do about it. Um, they can discourage you to do it. They can tell you that it's going to ruin your phone, which I really haven't found that it ruins anybody's phone. Um, it just allows a person to take off a whole lot of bloatware that they may not have wanted on the phone anyway. Uh, but if you do root your phone, uh, your manufacturer's warranty can be, you know, in, je in jeopardy there. Uh, if you do have a rooted phone, one of the things that I would suggest, and pretty much anyone else out there, is if you do have a rooted phone before you send it back to the manufacturer, revert it back to the stock ROM, uh, and then send it in. You really shouldn't have a problem at that point. Okay? Um, that is pretty much it. If you have any other questions concerning these things, oh, there is one thing I did not mention. Unlocking your phone, by the way, does not void your warranty at all. I, I did get kind of a lot of a lot of questions concerning that. Can that void your warranty? No. Uh, it cannot void your warranty in any way, shape, fashion, or form, regardless of how it's done. So, you know, if you can get your phone unlocked, definitely do it. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to send me an email. Uh, send it in the comments. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. I appreciate you for looking at my videos. If this was helpful to you in any way, please give me a like and please subscribe because I am going to be making videos on a regular basis and your questions are definitely helpful because it kind of gives me an idea of what you guys want. Thank you very much and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.